Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video screencast. Over the next couple of minutes, I'm going to be showing you how to install and set up the WP Time to Read plugin, which is an innovative and useful plugin that helps readers estimate how long it's going to take them to read a post. So the first thing to do is to head over to the My Theme Shop member area at mythemeshop.com slash go slash member. You want to scroll down your active premium resources until you find WP Time to Read. And from there you want to expand that and click Download Plugin Files. So I'm going to save that to my desktop there. And once that's downloaded, you want to head over to your WordPress dashboard and then go to Plugins and then Add New. From there, you want to click Upload Plugin, and then you want to choose file and choose the zipped file you've just downloaded. So I'm going to select uh, WP time to read zip there. And you want to click Install Now, and WordPress will now upload and install the plugin. And once that has completed, you just want to click Activate Plugin. And you now have WP time to read activated. Now, if you head to the settings and then click on time to read, you're gonna see that you have this new settings panel available for time to read. And you have two options here. You can enable time to read in general, or you can enable the scroll progress bar. So if we tick enable time to read, you'll see that brings up the main options for the displaying the estimate of the time to read values. So first you want to estimate uh, how many words per minute your readers are going to read. The average adult reading speed for English text in the United States is around 250 to 300 words per minute. And so you can see you can set a range here in order to account for your readers' different reading speeds. You can set a minimum maximum interval. Um, for example, this is set at 10 at the moment. And this will show the interval, for example, 10 to 12 minutes if the average is above this number. Except not always shows the interval or minus one to never show. So we'll set that to not to always show the interval. You can then change the text which will display, which is um, this query here for the number of minutes. So X minutes to read um, is the text that will show up. And here you have a lower than format. So if the average is lower than two, then you just use the singular instead of the plural of minutes. You then have the option to enable or disable the scroll progress bar, which is a progress bar at the top of your site's pages that fills in as users scroll down the page. See, you can use this color drop down, this color wheel, to select different colors to fit in with your site. So um, you can change these to literally any color you like to fit with your site. I'm going to set that as a nice blue to fit in with my site. You can set it to show or not show on the home page, archives, or single posts. I'm just going to leave mine on single posts and click update on those options. And with those settings saved, um, you see I need to, final thing to do is to add the template tag to my template files and my theme or use the short code WP time to read on any individual post or page in the editor in order to add the estimated reading time. So I'll just show you the short code first and just by copying that and I'm just going to add that to a post that I've already created. Um, you can do this on anywhere, on any post or page. So just wait for that to load up. And I might want to add that at the top of this post, for example, and then just click update when I'm done. That's going to update. And if I just view the post, then I'm going to see at the top of this page, I've got two minutes to read showing up, which is the estimated reading time for this post which we can see here is 462 words. So that's the short code, which is WP a time to read. And you can just add that into anywhere where you can have short codes on your site. So if we just head back to the settings here, then we can grab this uh, template tag to insert into our theme files, which you can use on uh, your homepage or anywhere in your theme, for example. So if you just go to appearance and then editor, and here we can add the template tag manually. Um, this of course requires some coding skill, but if you have any queries about this, then feel free to contact one of our support team at community.mythemeshop.com. I want to add this into my homepage though. So if I click on the index, 
or the home and I want to add this in on my home page um, after this last edited function. So I'm just going to scroll down until we can find that code. So I want to add that in here. So I'm just going to add in a little divider and then if the function exists, wp time to read. And then update that. And then if I just refresh my site, you're going to see we've added in a little time to read estimate on all of the posts. And you can see that just there. Now if we visit a post, I'll just show you what the progress bar looks like. So if we just scroll down here, you'll see along the top of the page, you've got this progress bar showing up, which is showing you how far you've scrolled down the page. As I mentioned earlier, you can change the progress bar color. So I'll just show you what that looks like if we perhaps change that to a more yellowy. So if we refresh the page, you can set this to any color you like in order to fit in with your site. So you'll see now that we've got this yellow template across the top. And you can change that to any color you like in order to fit in with your site. And that's all there is to it. Um, you just need to tick these two boxes for enabling time to read and the progress bar. This is the short code and the template tag. And you've got these tick boxes just to set the options here, set the intervals. And um, that's really all there is to it. If you have any queries at all, then don't hesitate to get in contact with one of our support team at community.mythemeshop.com. And thank you very much for watching. Mm -hmm.